Hi, I'm Senator Tim Kaine of Virginia, and I am delighted to be able to send greetings and share some words on such a historic anniversary for our Commonwealth. On February 2nd, 1959, Stratford Junior High School, which is now the site of H.B. Woodlawn, became the first public school in Virginia to integrate to allow students of all races to attend. Over the next few years, it ushered in a wave of desegregation amongst educational institutions in the state. Today, Virginia is stronger and more equal because of the leadership of H.B. Woodlawn and the students and faculty and parents. I'm reminded of the time when I was serving as governor when I visited H.B. Woodlawn to commemorate the 50th anniversary of this day in 2009. My wife, Ann Holton, was with me that day, and her family played an important role in ending racial segregation in the Commonwealth schools. Ann's father, Linwood Holton, served as Virginia's governor from 1970 to 1974. Up to the time he was elected governor, the Virginia governors previous to him had fought to maintain segregation. There were certain enlightened outposts like Arlington and H.B. Woodlawn, but across the state many jurisdictions wouldn't open their schools, and the weight of the governor's office was squarely behind segregation rather than integration. Well, Governor Holton had an opportunity in his first year in office to enroll his four children into public schools in Richmond that were majority African-American schools. He did this to send a message that education was important and that kids of different skin colors could all sit and learn together. There's a historic photo of him walking my wife's sister, Taylo, into John F. Kennedy High School on the first day of school. It was a front page photo in the New York Times. There had been many uh, photos in that era, the civil rights era, of Southern governors blocking the schoolhouse door and keeping African-American kids from coming in. But as far as I know, there was only one photo of a governor hand in hand with his daughter with big smiles on their faces, walking into integrated schools to show that all kids were equal and that education was the most important value of our community. That was a great sign of courage during a time when school integration was being met with strong resistance in Virginia and elsewhere. As we celebrate the 57th anniversary of Virginia school integration today, February 2nd, and as we celebrate black history over the next coming weeks, let's honor the trailblazers of our past. America has come a long way in its march toward a more equal society, and Virginia has too, but we've still got a lot more to do. And as we reflect on our past, let's remember that when we open the doors of opportunity and equality for all children, we build a stronger future for all America. Thanks so much.